everybody. Welcome into ESPNU. Dave Feldman, Adrian Branch, and the 18th ranked St. Mary's Gales in the white and underway against the USD Terrells. I'm seeing the intensity. You can feel the intensity. It's a sellout crowd here. St. Mary's fans knows what's at stake. Mason Ford fouled and counted, making the most of his second start. So number 25, the five-year senior, will go to the free throw line. Former Harvard Crimson Tide. Moving well without the basketball right here and then sticking the land up. That's his land. Lavin has started 12 different starting lineups this season. But McKenney started on all of them. He just lost the ball. Marcelone is driving and he draws the foul. That's what he does so well. One thing you don't want to do is turn it over. Touchdowns for turnovers. So St. Mary's taking advantage of two loose possessions, getting out and running. And Dave, you and I noticed in warm-ups, St. Mary's is a little more athletic than we than you see on television. They got a little more pop when they go to the rim. Augustus Marcellonis having a terrific season. And we pointed out he shoots right-handed, but you would not know what handed. He is. He's ambidextrous. He finishes left. And you look at Randy Bennett, 23rd season, five-time WCC Coach of the Year. Sit in. Tied at four. That's the bread and butter of San Diego. They want to create havoc, and then they want to get out and get easy baskets before the defense gets set. This is textbook. This is what they want to do. Marcellonis, and we mentioned the left. There it is. I played against his dad, Sarunas, yep. and got fouled hard. I was going to say, hey, listen, tell your dad he owes me an apology. <laughs> <laughs> but his dad is left-handed, so he said he thinks his mom did not want him to be left. Watch the patience of St. Mary's. They'll look for the best opportunities. Saxon with the left and off the window. You know him, some of the same Kenny. times. You guys are Luke Kenny, uh, same age. Same and, era. And his dad was a legend at San Francisco. And um, loves the Bay Area, still has a place here. There. Barrett is into the game and into the scoreboard off the glass, and it's 1913. Playing with a purpose. Look at that east west until you get a deep toe pose. You know, Saxon will get the hoop, but Augustus Marcellonis had a beautiful entry pass there. McKinney lost the ball. Marcellonis got it. Landed on his knee the wrong way. Four on five right now. We have a player down. Yeah. And we hope that he is okay. That is Wayne McKinney. He is the heartbeat of this team. And as he goes, so do the Toreros. So let's see what happened here. He was coming down and he spun agent and then went to the oh, right hit there right there on the yeah. knee. Oh, that's not a good feeling. Barrett inside and lays it in. I watched him the whole time and he just had the right angle. He had his defender on his left shoulder. I've watched him the entire time on that timeout. Marcellon is finishing. He's got a burst, Dave. Marcelonis has a burst. We were talking about him and Mahaney in warm-ups. They're a little more explosive than they look until you see them live. Turner squares up. No good. Dukas with the rebound. The thing about Augustus Marcelonis, Adrian, he always looks in control. Never seems to me like he's out of control. Yeah, plays at his own pace. And he's the straw that stirs the drink. Look at, that, look at that. The Aussie influence. Harry Wessels, the sophomore seven-footer, not playing tonight. He has a left shoulder situation. He's going to be week to week as they work that out. Saxon beautiful. on a beautiful feed from Marcelonis, who now has seven assists. Beautiful. This is mid-season form for this team. Deuce is not in in this game, so now for the blue jerseys, the offense has to get you the best shot. Nice defense by Augustus Marcellonis, who sniffed out that back door. Up, of course, he didn't have a choice. Uh, McKinney left the game with an injury. Well, Steve is not going to sit there and be idle. He's going to give you everything he has with what he's working with. Marcellonis for three. 
Shot clock down to seven. That left hand again, left hand drive. Forbes in the corner. And that is three. Augustus's eighth assist. St. Mary's dropping a sludge hammer. And San Diego hitting you with a velvet hammer. It's this cute and cuddly, but it's not as heavy as the sledge hammer. Barcelona straight body control off the glass. Barcelona has a game that just is like an older man's game. Yeah, you know what I mean by that? Oh, just, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He does, you can't speed him up. He plays right, right there inside the paint. He makes this thing go because he controls the tempo. He's going to shoot it for himself. He's strong to take the contact. Emotionally, he's right there in the moment. Two ball handlers. Mahaney can run the offense the same way. As a point guard, Marcelonis. Mahaney left open at the top, and it's Mahaney for three. Trying to put his own in now, give him something of a different look, but everything St. Mary's has had an answer for. Go east, west, and then they go north, south, late in the shot clock. Mahaney set up by Marcelonis. His 10th assist, and Mahaney's 15th point. Solid young man. Nice pass. There's your record. There's your record. <laughs> How much did you have on that? <laughs> and he got fouled. So the hoop by Barrett. And now 11 assists, a career high. For Augustus Marcelonis. But it's how he's getting it. It's nice, easy pass, taking their time. Muncie throws it away. Marcelonis with the steal. Four steals now for Augustus. Dukas back door missed it. Marcelona is high off the glass, no good. And Saxon dumps it in. No basket. That basket does not count. Foul before. Spacing and ball movement breaks down the defense right there. Lack of communication. Oh. He's seven feet. How can you <laughs> sneak around at seven feet? Lack of communication right there. Breaks down the defense. St. Mary's has not been uncomfortable from the start of this game. Nope. And you talked to Marshall on the session, and you said you played against his dad. And I remember what he said to you. He goes, man, you're old. <laughs> Which makes sense. And is accurate. <laughs> One day you're going to be nice to me, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the numbers don't lie, right? I mean, Final seconds. St. Mary's has now won 15 straight, the nation's longest winning streak. Lavin and Randy exchange pleasantries. And St. Mary's, 18th in the land, continues to impress. For Adrian Branch, I'm Dave Feldman, 8862 St. Mary's. Good night from Moraga.